Deborah, you're fired. My stint on Celebrity Apprentice lasted seven weeks and it actually was the perfect amount of time for me because I could feel like, you know, to stay on would mean sacrificing my moral code. And I felt like when I signed on, I said, sure, I want to win, only if it means I can go to sleep at night. So I was really proud of how I handled myself on the show. I didn't like every single color I saw of myself. I think anyone who has a camera on themselves like 20 hours a day and they watch back snippets wouldn't always like what they saw. The show actually is edited pretty true to form, but there, there's only a certain amount of storylines they can show. So for instance, you know, I had somebody saying about me like, oh, she's not a team player, only when she wants to be. Well, it just so happens probably every storyline of mine that was cut out through the entire run was me on my hands and knees scrubbing floors, was me running down the street sweating, lugging furniture, lamps, picture frames, props, things. And they, for some reason, like, they, they did not show me in that light. It's even more hectic than you see on TV. Like, we're up at like 4.30 in the morning, and what you don't get to see is all the rules. Like, there are so many rules to follow. For instance, if one person wants to go somewhere, they have to take someone else. They have to give the van a half hour notice. They have to da -da -da. So they're all, you have to keep a phone log if you're making charity calls. There's all these other weird things we're doing and rules we're following. Would you do another reality show? I would never say never, but I think I would rather do something that involved me mentoring kids um, or something performance-based. This was a once in a lifetime, and I'm so glad I challenged myself in this way. But in terms of like the cameras rolling all day and the personality stuff kind of being on the firing lines and all that, eh, probably not again. Okay, great. <laughs>